Hey guys, it's Tepco Soccer Pay. Today we're working on a no start click. Okay, so what we have here is this is a 1991 Champ uh, YFM 100, and this is a common problem. I get a lot of calls about this, and I'm going to show you how to diagnose it, how to uh, find out what's going on, what to look for. So, what's happening here is that the when you go to hit the start button, okay, this is what happens. All right, the starter solenoid's clicking, and the first thing you're going to think is it's a dead battery, which, which is a good thought when you need to test through it. I'm gonna show you how to test through each one of the segments here and figure out what's going on with this one. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is check the battery voltage. So I got a, uh, this is an, an, an Ames multimeter. It auto adjusts everything. You can get it at Harbor Freight. It's pretty cheap, it's worth it. You gotta have one. So let's put it on volts. And let's do our uh, positive and negative on the battery. We should have a good charge battery. It's gonna be in the uh, 13 volt range. All right, 1303. Good to go. Let's move on. All right, so underneath here is our starter solenoid. It has two connections going to it. The top one is coming from the battery. We test that one. We get the same battery voltage as we just got. And the bottom one, uh, when we hit the start button, we got to see if that one's getting power. And then we'll know our solenoid works. It's just a trigger. It has a, a wire going to it. When we hit the start button, all it's doing is sending power from the, the battery voltage connector, which is on the top from the battery, and it sends it to, to the lower one here, which is connected to the starter. So let's go ahead and hit the start button and see what kind of voltage we get. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is check the solenoid. I'm checking the top one, make sure we got voltage going to the solenoid. We do, 13.02. Now I'm on the bottom terminal. This is the one that goes to the starter. We got nothing, let's hit the start button. Bam, okay. So that's telling me that the starter solenoid is working, and we're gonna go check the, uh, the connection at the starter. All right, so now I got the terminal on the top of the starter connected to the positive, and I got the other side on ground, hitting the start button. Bam, 13 volts, so actually 12.5 volts going to the starter. So we're looking at a starter problem. All right, so we checked the power to the battery, good. We checked the power to the starter solenoid, that was good, made sure that we had, uh, the wires were good. Then we check the um, solenoid, power going to the starter when we hit the start button, that was good, so we know those wires are all good. So we're looking at a starter problem. So let's throw another starter on this one, and then we'll check everything again. We'll just hit the start button and see what happens. All right, so here's our new starter here. It's really simple, it has two Allen keys that come in from the back side right here. All right, we got one there and one there. And then we have, this comes with a wire and a connector on it already. And there's a 10 millimeter on the solenoid I already showed you guys. So let me get this changed out. Don't forget there's an O-ring right here. So put some of the uh, a grease something on that seal right there. So or the uh, seal glide that I use to keep that uh, O-ring working good. All right, so the new starter is mounted all back in. It was really simple. It just took me about five minutes. Um, let's hit the starter button and see what happens. Nice. All right, so the starter's working perfect. Um, that's a simple test that you can check out and see what's going on if you got that click. I get a lot of uh, a lot of people calling me or sending me uh, emails and questions about it. They're just hitting the start button and it's clicking. It could be a bad solenoid, and uh, if you do that test and you're not getting power to the uh, to the second side here, if it's not sending power to the starter, that could be a bad solenoid. If you're not getting any click at all, it could be a couple other things. That's a whole other video. But if you're getting a click, these are this is the way to check it out and see what's going on. Make sure your battery, and this is assuming that your battery is is fresh, uh, is not dead, has plenty of power, and uh, is fully charged. If you got an old battery, it could click. So we checked the voltage first. Uh, we hit the starter a couple times and then checked the voltage again, and the voltage is still good. So with a good battery, with a click, here's your problem. Easy way to check it out. Hopefully this helps you out, guys. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. And until next time, this is Tepco Site Repair.